Hello and welcome back to Parisia's 33 day preparation for consecration to Jesus through Joseph. And of course, uh, those of us who have already consecrated to the Blessed Virgin Mary are including her in this consecration as well. And uh, towards the end, uh, I will discuss uh, different ways in which we can renew our consecrations to Jesus, both through Mary and through Joseph, uh, both on a, uh, a daily and on a yearly basis. So look out for that. Uh, we don't have a, a guest today, all right? As, as always, it's, it's quite challenging to find a guest for every day. And so, um, you know, I don't always succeed, but we still have some wonderful guests coming up. Uh, but today it'll just be the prayers and the devotional readings. And uh, so it's, uh, it's me doing it again for you. We're on day 25. And whenever it's me praying for you, of course, you get my rosary, which is a rectotonal chanted rosary. And for, for those of you who haven't um, already watched the first one of mine uh, that I did, go back and have a look at this at that video to, to get the explanation of, uh, of why and how uh, I do this rosary in this, uh, this rectotonal chant and with all of the five Fatima prayers. All right, then, let us get started. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti, Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. <clears throat> Pater noster qui es in celis sanctificet nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, Sicut in cello et in terra, panem nostrum quotidianum de nobis hodie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos amalo. Amen. For the increase of faith, Blessed Mother of Mount Carmel, ora pro nobis. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis. Peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. For the increase of hope, Our Lady, help of Christians, ora pro nobis. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For the increase of charity, Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, ora pro nobis. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis. Peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, 
Secut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. O Jesus, it is for the love of thee, in a reparation for the offences committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary, and for the conversion of poor sinners that we pray this rosary. Amen. We also pray this rosary for an end to the COVID-19 pandemic, an end to lockdowns, and for freedom to practice our Catholic faith, and to worship Almighty God with our churches open. Amen. We also pray at this time for all our faithful Catholic doctors and all our faithful Catholic leaders. Amen. We pray for a stirring up of faith, hope, and love, and an increase in the cardinal virtues for all of our clergy, especially our bishops, that they may resist the world and shepherd their flocks in love and truth. Amen. We pray this rosary also for world peace and for the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Amen. Finally, we pray this rosary for all the personal intentions of all the spiritual pilgrims praying with us. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, I adore thee. My God, my God, I love thee in the most blessed sacrament. Amen. On Saturdays we contemplate the joyful mysteries. The first of the joyful mysteries is the Annunciation to Our Lady by the Archangel Gabriel. Pater Noster qui es in celis sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cello et in terra, panem nostrum quotidianum de nobis hodie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, Sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos amalo. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesu. Sancta Maria Mater Dei ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei ora pro nobis, 
peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. Amen. The second of the joyful mysteries is the visitation by Our Lady to her kinswoman Elizabeth. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. Amen. The third of the joyful mysteries is the birth of our Lord, Jesus Christ. Pater nostra quia in celis sanctificet nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, Fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cello et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum de nobis hodie, et dimite nobis debita nostra. Sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos amalo. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, 
Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. <coughs> Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love Thee. Amen. The fourth of the joyful mysteries is the presentation of Jesus at the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon of you for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. Amen. The fifth of the joyful mysteries is the finding of Jesus in the temple. Pater Noster quies in celis sanctificet unomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cello et in terra, panem nostrum quotidianum de nobis hodie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, Sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos amalo. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, 
Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tui iasus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum, Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tui iasus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum, Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tui iasus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum, Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tui iasus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tui iasus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tui iasus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tui iasus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tui iasus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tui iasus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tui iasus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. <clears throat> my God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love Thee. Amen. <clears throat> o Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore Thee profoundly. I offer Thee the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity, 
of Jesus Christ present in all the tabernacles of the world, in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifferences whereby he is offended, and through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart, in union with the immaculate heart of Mary, I beg thee the conversion of poor sinners. Amen. Mary, Queen of the Holy Rosary, ora pro nobis. Mary, Queen of Peace, ora pro nobis. Mary, our loving Mother, ora pro nobis. Saint Joseph, Head of the Holy Family, ora pro nobis. Saint Joseph, patron and protector of the universal church, ora pro nobis. Saint Joseph, terror of demons, ora pro nobis. O ye holy saints and all ye holy souls, ora pro nobis. Pray, dear saints, that we may receive a stirring up of faith, hope, and charity. Pray, dear saints, that we may receive an increase in the cardinal virtues of prudence, justice, temperance, and fortitude. Pray, dear saints, that we may increase in the fruits of the Holy Spirit. And pray, dear saints, that if it be truly good for our souls, and for Christ's holy, catholic, and apostolic church, that we may receive in abundance the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Oremus. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries in the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. We now pray for the intentions of the Holy Father. May he lead his flock in love and truth. Pater noster qui es in celis sanctificet nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cello et in terra, panem nostrum quotidianum de nobis hodie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, Sed libera nos amalo. Amen. Ave Maria gratia plena Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. 
Sancta Maria Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, peccatoribus nunc et in hora mortis nostrae. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Thank you all very much for uh, giving me the honour of praying with you today and leading you in prayer especially. And it's now time for our devotional reading for the day. And, all, and as always, I can't thank the monks in Flavigny uh, enough for giving us uh, the permission to read this to you as well. 25th day, model of workers. Out of what beneficent goodness did Providence give St. Joseph as a model to workers? St. Joseph was a craftsman. Jesus himself was too, and under the eyes of his adopted father, so good was he at his craft that he was usually called the son of the carpenter, the son of the worker. What a lesson of humility for human pride. The Son of God came down to earth to be an example to man and at the same time to pour his grace upon him, which grace was contained in his examples. The human actions of Jesus are not simple gestures that we are to imitate. They are, in addition, reservoirs of inexhaustible, super abundant graces for humanity and from which one can draw limitlessly. It was necessary that the actions of the Son of God be imitable by all men. That is why it pleased him to choose for himself and for his earthly family a life most humble, that of an artisan. In adopting his life for himself and his own, he sanctified it for all those who lead such a life and provided living springs of grace, which are available to the humblest and littlest of all. Now Jesus, in his wisdom and gentle providence, decided to entrust very specially into the hands of St. Joseph, his adopted father, under whose eyes he was apprenticed as a worker, all the graces that he acquired in those 30 years with him. Thus he did in order to be able to pour them out on the immense multitude of human beings for whom the necessity of earning daily bread consists in leaning over a worker's bench or an artisan's table. Joseph the worker is the model and patron of workers. He it is who dispenses the graces of Jesus the worker. To these graces Joseph adds the precious contribution of his own merits. When a worker is faithful to God, St. Joseph scatters choice blessings on him and his family. It is not rare for God to draw from those blessings saintly preachers, rescuers of souls, just as he drew Jesus, the saviour of the world, from the workshop, workshop of St. Joseph. Oh, would that contemporary society, disillusioned with sophisms and fallacious promises, recognise that nowhere is the worker's humble life so much honoured as it is in the church. The church could not underestimate it without doing a disservice to its origin, because it emerged from the house of Nazareth where Joseph, Mary and Jesus lived by the work of their hands. O St. Joseph, raise up apostles from those working in the world and lead them back to God under the noble patronage of your example. Let us recognize here a commendable design of providence. The life of Joseph the worker was a humble life, and because of this it was doomed to be forgotten. Here is precisely how, from this life of humility, 
God could fashion a patronage that extends itself to billions of human beings, and one may even say to all humanity that is subject to the law of work. Far above the half-faded images of founders of empires, lawgivers and conquerors, appears the gentle and inspired face of St. Joseph the worker, brightened by the divine radiance of Jesus. That is how God glorifies the humble. Miraculous Staircase in Santa Fe. In 1873, the sisters of the Academy of Our Lady of Light of Loreto in Santa Fe, New Mexico, in the southwest part of the United States of America, engaged Mexican carpenters to construct a Gothic chapel modeled upon the Saint Chapelle of Paris. Conceived by the architect Muli, this structure was built in five years at the cost of $30,000. It measured 22.5 meters or 75 feet in length, 7.5 meters or 25 feet in width, and 25.5 meters or 84 feet in height. The structure was almost completed when an error or an omission was noticed. There was no means to ascend to the choir loft, which was at the back of the chapel. Several carpenters were called to the scene, but they all answered the same. On account of the height of the loft, it was impossible. Impossible to build a staircase. The stairs would take up too much space in the nave. As a result, it would become necessary to make use of a ladder or completely rebuild the loft. In great consternation, the sisters decided to entrust to St. Joseph, whose feast day was drawing near, this humbly insoluble dilemma. They began a novena in his honour. On the last day of the novena, a grey-haired man leading a donkey and carrying a tool chest stopped at the academy. He asked to speak with Mother Magdalene, the superior in charge of the convent at that time, and offered to build the stairs. Delighted, Mother Magdalene accepted his offer immediately. The construction of the stairs lasted about six months. Certain sisters who were present at the worksite remarked that the mysterious worker had used only a saw, a T-square, and a hammer. They remembered seeing tubs of water filled with pieces of soaking wood. When Mother Magdalene looked for the worker to pay him, he was nowhere to be found. A reward was offered, no one claimed it. Even the local lumber yard had gave no proof of purchase for the wood used. The completed work is a circular staircase of 33 steps, consisting of two complete spirals at 360 degrees without any central support it rests above above against it rests above against the loft and below on the floor where the entire weight seems to be supported wood pegs take the place of nails during the course of the years architects and builders from numerous foreign countries have inspected this architectural wonder they all marvel to see how the stairs still remain standing. Certain people thought that it would fall apart as soon as it was used, but in spite of daily use, the staircase remains in place even after more than a century. At the academy, Sister Mary, then 13 years old, was one of the first to mount these stairs with her friends. However, being frightened, they came down on their hands and knees. We can easily understand how, having no railing for support, they were afraid. Several experts in building materials affirm that the curved stringers had been installed with precision. The wood is spliced in several different places on the inside and in nine different places on the outside, with each piece forming a perfect curve. Moreover, this wood is of a hard variety and is not native to New Mexico. Its origin is still a mystery. 
In connection with the redesign of the main electrical service and meter loop for the building, Mr. Carl Allback had to climb the stairway a number of times. Each time he went up or came down, he seemed to feel a small amount of vertical movement, as if the two 360 degree turns were taken out of a large coiled spring. He was not the only one to have experienced this phenomenon. Mother Ludovine also had the same experience in ascending the stairs. Perhaps in this very phenomenon lies the secret of its construction. Is St. Joseph himself the builder of this magnificent, miraculous staircase? Be that as it may, the sisters of the Academy of Loreto are certain that the, steer, that the stairs were the re response to their confident prayers to St. Joseph, the glorious spouse of Our Lady, the model of workers, and the consoler of the afflicted. Prayer of Pope St. Pius X to St. Joseph, model of workers. Glorious St. Joseph, model of all who are devoted to work, obtain for me the grace to work in a spirit of penance in order thereby to atone for my many sins, to work conscientiously, putting devotion to duty before my own inclinations, to labor with gratitude and joy deeming it an honor to employ and to develop by my labor the gifts I have, or I have received from Almighty God to work with order, peace, moderation, and patience without ever shrinking from weariness and difficulties, to work above all with a pure intention and with self-detachment, having always before my eyes the hour of my death and the accounting which I must then render of time wasted of talents unemployed, of good undone, and of my empty pride in success, which is so prejudicial to the work of God. All for Jesus, all through Mary, all in imitation of thee, O Patriarch Joseph, this shall be my motto in life and in death. Amen. And indeed it is... Uh, once again, been a, a great honour to read this uh, to you today. Now um, we've uh, we've got our participant uh, friend, uh, Mr. John Kirkland, joining, who's go who has offered to do the responses again. John, if you could unmute for me, and of course, as we. As we learned, uh, John has spent most of his life with wood. John, did you know that, that the particular reading today was going to involve your entire life's work? Yes, I did in a way, yes. <laughs> Actually, that, um, the, uh, I, I had that video on my computer for years of that, that staircase. Wow. In, wow. In the chapel there, yeah. Well, in that case, John, if you could lean a little closer to the microphone, I think in honour of your work as an artisan, you should lead today's litany and I'll do the responses. Would you do that for us? Absolutely. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. Holy, oh, God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Noble offspring of David. Pray for us. Light of patriarchs. Pray for us. Spouse of the mother of God. Pray for us. Chaste guardian of the virgin. Pray for us. Foster father of the son of God. Pray for us. Zealous defender of Christ. Pray for us. Head of the holy family. Pray for us. 
Joseph most just. Pray for us. Joseph most chaste. Pray for us. Joseph most prudent. Pray for us. Joseph most courageous. Pray for us. Joseph most obedient. Pray for us. Joseph most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of patience. Pray for us. Lover of poverty. Pray for us. Model of workmen. Pray for us. Glory of domestic life. Pray for us. Guardian of virgins. Pray for us. Pillar of families. Pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted. Pray for us. Hope of the sick. Pray for us. Patron of the dying. Pray for us. Terror of demons. Pray for us. Protector of the Holy Church. Pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. He has made him Lord of his household. And prince over all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, who in your loving providence chose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother, grant us the favour of having him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our parent protector, you who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for volunteering to do that for us today, John. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Matthew. <laughs> All right. And uh, thank you also, of course, as always, uh, to everyone who has joined us, uh, not just for the, the live uh, component of, of this, but also to all those who are watching these recording, recordings after the fact and still joining us spiritually in this consecration. Thank you very much. You, you honour us by doing so. But that is enough from me today. So uh, farewell to all of you and may God bless you all richly through the intercession of St. Joseph. Amen.